Good morning and welcome to St. Mother Garen Parish. As we enter this third Sunday of Advent, let us take a moment and calm our hearts and minds as we prepare for the coming of Jesus. Today's celebrant is Father Moises. Our gathering song will be, will be Alleluia, Hurry the Lord is Near, found in your St. Mother Garen songbook number one. Again, in your St. Mother Garen songbook number one. Please stand. Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Amen. Today we reach the halfway stage of our Advent season and give thanks for John the Baptist, who bore witness to Jesus, the light of the world. As we light the third candle of the Advent wreath, let us pray we too will spread the light of Christ in the darkness of our world so that all may know Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. Now we invite the Zepeda family to come forward to light our third candle this day. very much. God bless you. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You came as our Redeemer, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You are the light of the world, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You lead us to the Father, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Thank you. 
O God, who see how your people faithfully wait the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joy so great of salvation, and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. Before we continue, um, we would like to just uh, offer an apology for the, the very cold temperature of the church. We are still working on our heating system as we did have some problems last night as well for the five o'clock mass. So our technicians are, are working on, on it and hopefully we can get it uh, started soon. But thank you so much for, for your patience and understanding as, as we might be a slight inconvenience by, by the colder temperature today. So thank you so much for, for your patience and understanding and, and thank you for, from our, our parish community and to yours. At this time, we would like to invite uh, our children uh, and Dottie who will come forward for our children's liturgy. We invite all children from kindergarten through fourth grade to come forward to receive their blessing. Dottie, receive the book of reading and proclaim God's word faithfully to the children entrusted to your care. Children, may the Lord continue to bless you and keep you, and may he help you in all the things that he has prepared for you and the graces that the Lord may bring upon all of you this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We await, we await your return. May God bless you. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon, they will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response is, Lord, come and save us. Lord, come and save us. Come and save us. Come and save us. Lord, come and save us. Come and save us. Come and save us. Come and save us. The Lord God keeps 
gives justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. A reading from the letter of St. James. Be patient, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm, because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take an example of hardship, take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of the Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with this question Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind. Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing. Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out to see a prophet? Yes. I tell you, and more than a prophet, this is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist, 
yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today, the third Sunday of Advent, we call it Gaudaute Sunday, the joyful Sunday. And we recognize that this joy must come from our desire to experience Christmas that is so close. We are at the halfway point. And the joy of Christmas for us as Catholics is very unique and distinct. Because as we know, Christmas all around us begins with this kind of emotion and feeling that draws us into the traditions and into the familiarity of what the Christmas season is about. For many, it is the wonderful snowflakes that fall, the songs that are played on the radio, the decorations that adorn our house, the Christmas tree, the lights, and perhaps even the little bit of shopping, just a tiny bit, right? Just the, the little bit. Not, not too many Amazon clicks, right? Just, just, just a few hundred dollars. But this sense of what is becoming what is transforming this time, it's okay for the outside world. It's okay for those who enjoy, like myself, that peppermint mocha that reminds me, oh, this this is the time of the year that, that is special. But I'll tell you, for us Catholics, it's more than just what we experience as modern Christmas, the modern secular holiday that when you ask someone, When does Christmas begin? Their answer is December 25th. When you ask them, when does Christmas end? December 26th. Wrong. Christmas is not a 24-hour period. It is a season like Advent, like Lent. It is a time that stretches. And we have, if you forget, like the song. Right? How many days of Christmas with all of the rings and the birds and every th- gift that comes each day? Why? Because Christmas is a time of preparation, of joy. And the truth of Christmas is supposed to be centered in the incarnation, the coming and birth of Jesus. So imagine that we are a thousand years, or even in the 1500s, the 1400s, many, many years before electricity, before those LED bright lights, before the modern Christmas. What is Christmas about for those families, for our people of faith? How did we celebrate the coming of the gospel message of truth, of redemption, of hope, We celebrate it by acknowledging that Jesus was coming into the world so that we could be redeemed, saved, so that we could come out of the darkness of the imperfection of our human condition in that fallen state of original sin. So that when we are called from this life, death will no longer have a hold over us, that life will be eternal for those who believe and walk with Jesus, with God, and believe. Can you imagine if you had a hard life and that was the end? There was no hope for you. But through our belief, we know whether we've had trials, hardships, unfair injustices, that God is with us in those darkest moments and He desires us to have peace, to have joy, to walk with Him again in that Garden of Eden. That no matter how many times we betray God by our sinfulness, by our imperfection, no matter how many times we fall, 
God is there waiting to help pick us up, to heal us, and to give us courage to once again walk forward, take that next step. But it all begins in our faith with this moment, the incarnation. God being born into the world in the poorest conditions, not in palaces, not amongst royalty or comforts, or even a warm bed. He came into the world into a poor, poor family, poor conditions. And most importantly, he came into the poverty of humanity, our poverty, the poverty that is flawed. And he came to make us rich. He came to fulfill and bring us warmth, to bring us the joy. And that is why today we celebrate Joyful Sunday. Because the joy of Christmas goes beyond what we experience at the mall, what we experience when we are singing Christmas carols. It goes beyond all of the festive hats and garments. It goes beyond the lights, the twinkling that we experience. It is beautiful, yes, but that is not our center. That is not our truth of Christmas. The truth of Christmas is that God so loved the world, us, that He sent us His only begotten Son. And that gift is so precious that it must be the first gift that we receive and acknowledge with thanksgiving. So as, as we are gathering today, with our third Sunday, I just invite you, brothers and sisters, to let the joy of the truth of Christmas, the realization that God loves you and that He desires you to come into relationship with Him this Christmas, let it be a part of your day, of your week, and let it be more important than the things that are exteriorly present in Christmas. Because if all those things were no longer there, the truth of Christ remains. And His truth is eternal. So that those who believe in Him may have eternal life. you to profess with me our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. In the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. As we gather our prayers this morning, we ask that our Lord may help us overcome any difficulties, trials in our life, that we may hope and have trust in Him. And through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, 
may we come closer into friendship and joy of God. That during this season of Advent, the church may testify to the Lord's coming with patience and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders commit themselves to economic justice so that all peoples in all regions may enjoy peace and fruitful lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord that those in our parish community who feel their faith is being tested may find hope this Advent season through our gospel's message of patience and fulfillment. We pray to the Lord. Lord that God will give wisdom and understanding to those who hold the means to protect our Earth's precious resources. We pray to the Lord. Lord For those being baptized into our faith community, June Lorraine Drake, James Patrick Gavin, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the sick, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, Mary Ann Shaw, Patrick Riley, Colette Bodenbender, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Intentions for which this Mass is offered, Frank Pudlow, Roman and Anna Romaniak, Lois Palu, Celia Neary, birthday, Victor Quilici, 7th Anniversary, James Highland, 10th Anniversary, Michael Sheehan, Sofranio Sampson III, Gregory Rivera, Anniversary. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear for the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you humbly to pour out your your mercy and grace upon us. May through the intercession of our saints, our Blessed Mother, and all those who have gone before us in faith, may we continue to walk in newness of life, joyful in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This, um, this morning, we have a second collection for our retirement fund for our religious. You may have seen a couple of the posters around our church and in your pews. This is to help uh, continue to care for all of our retired uh, religious sisters and brothers from different faith communities, from Dominicans to Franciscans to all those who serve. May our help and support help them in any way that we can. Thank you for your generosity today.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that we may find us watchful so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exalted in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread, when we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise Supich, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those participating in our Mass at home, please bow your heads as I read the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Christ Be Our Light can be found in your journey book number 824. Again, in your journey book number 824.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, please be seated for a moment as we do have quite a number of announcements and also a presentation from our finance council. Uh, so, you know what, can we ask him to... Do his presentation first, then we'll do all the announcements, if that's okay. I'm second again. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, i got to ask him if it's okay, because he's the boss, you know. <laughs> I'm always first, Craig. <laughs> it's hard to believe that sometimes we're even at mass, the way we jib and jab each other back over there. You know, one of the things I was going to say is, uh, you know, before we had a little bit of a cold stretch here in church, it really wasn't Father Paul trying to give us a secret message uh, by turning down the thermostat, but our funds are what uh, keep us warm and delightful. And if you remember, there used to be a nice waterfall where the choir used to have to have an umbrella over their head in order to sing for us. Those things get fixed because of you. <coughs> The people in this church make these decorations sparkle because of you. I was going to wear a red uh, sweater so everybody could focus in on me, but then I saw all the beautiful red flowers here and commented, I don't ever remember seeing such a beautiful tribute to Our Lady of Guadalupe. It's because of you. Those applause certainly aren't for me, but for the people who put this all together. They deserve it. The money comes to us in many ways. And this year, for all of our you know, World Cup fans, I wanted you to kind of look at the budget like that this year. When you get to look at it and peruse it, you're going to see that we're in the black, which is always good to see. But where I say it's like a tie in soccer, it's because we received our forgiveness from the government on the PPP loans. So we didn't owe any of that money back to them. So in fact, we probably would have been in the red, but we'll just blame it on COVID and we'll take the win where we got it and accept that forgiveness from the church. But that clock has turned. It's time to change. Father Moises, Father Paul, the Finance Committee, they do a great job at watching the dollars that roll in. You know, if you were here at 7.30, you would have heard the accountant Oscar speak. I'm just the banker. He likes real numbers. I like to make everybody feel a little bit better about where we have been and where I see us going. I know that the parish is strong. We all make things happen. Good things happen. But sometimes we let excuses get in the way. So one of the things that Father Paul and I have both done, and we encourage you to do, is to sign up online for automatic payments. So if you're sick, you're on vacation, forgetful like I used to be, you can have your deduction each week automatically taken out of an account. It's also a nice way for those who are accountants to be able to track your uh, obvious donations you give throughout the year. But more importantly, let's take the win where we can. Let's continue supporting our church by giving maybe just a little bit more. It is the season of giving, so let's begin to give back to our church as we all re-enter this welcoming back to those that are online still that maybe don't need to be but for those that are online that need to be and still want to give maybe have somebody help with the online donations but the news is good folks saint mother theodore garen parish and its school saint celestine is in the black for this year 
Whether it's a tie or it's in, it's in the black. And we're good because of you. So thank you for letting me represent the Finance Committee today. Please, I encourage you to come back to church. Come back and sign up for our online withdrawals and deposits. But no, when you review the budget in today's bulletin, St. Mother Theodore Guerin Parish is in the black because of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This week's Advent wreath candle is the pink candle. It's in the vestibule. Ro Ro Rose. 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 I always, I'm colorblind. <laughs> it's joy. <laughs> Please take a paper joy candle home this week to add to your paper Advent wreath. Our Lady of Guadalupe Vigil Mass is tonight at 7.30. And Our Lady Guadalupe Mass is Monday at 7 p.m. Both Masses will be here at St. Celestine's. The little Advent Christmas books are available in the back of the church. When you leave, a $2 donation would be nice. Please drop off your giving tree donations this weekend. Your gift will help others on this beautiful, nice Christmas. Next Saturday, December 17th, is our 5 p.m. Sambanga B Mass. It's a beautiful Filipino tradition. All are welcome. Also next Saturday, there will be a Polish confessor available at 3.30 at St. Celestine's. This coming Wednesday evening at St. Cyprian's at 7 o'clock, I will be hosting an Advent Reflection. This is my second one, actually. I asked Father Paul during COVID, and I did it, and apparently it was A-OK. -okay. He asked me to come back and do another one. So please come. I will promise you it will be, you'll be home by 10 o'clock by the news, okay? I will not keep you very long. It's a little bit of music, a little bit of talk. There's going to be our PowerPoint. It's going to be at St. Cyprian's at 7 p.m. on a Wednesday night. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very much. Just uh, another announcement as we are heading into what is very soon to be uh, the Christmas weekend, we would like to just announce that the weekend of Christmas as it falls on Saturday and Sunday, there will be no confessions scheduled on Saturday as we normally are accustomed to at 4 p.m. either here or at 3.30 at St. Cyprian because the mass times for the Christmas Eve mass um, are, are changed for that weekend. So if you would like to come to confession, next week would be the week to do so at 4 o'clock when we have our Polish confessor, I myself in Spanish and English, will be around. And, uh, and so we hope to, to be able to help anyone who would like to avail themselves of, you know, through the sacrament. Um, lastly, as to, uh, this evening we are having our celebration of Our Lady Guadalupe, and tomorrow is her official feast day to kind of help through our, as a, the announcement of our finance committee. Uh, many people are very generous with our donations as we are able to cover the expenses of the roses, of the, um, the mass, and everything else that we do for Our Lady Guadalupe. But to help uh, promote and help build up our community of Marian faithful, uh, we have these images that I brought back from the official basilica of Our Lady Guadalupe in Mexico City this past May. And these images have the official seal from the basilica as faithful replicas of the original tilma, which is uh, on display in the basilica that was part of Juan Diego's uh, clothes and, and, and investments that he wore as an indigenous person on which our Blessed Mother uh, painted herself, revealed herself in that image. So these will be uh, raffled off. We will have three uh, tonight that will be raffled and three tomorrow at the Spanish Mass at 7 p.m. Monday. We also have these beautiful shawls that are come in different colors. We have uh, six that we are raffling off. Three today, three tomorrow. Excuse me. And uh, the price is uh, one ticket for $10, three for 20 and they will be uh, available at the back of church on this side of the exit. If you are interested in, please leave us your name and number in the back of ticket. And if you are not present for the drawing tonight or tomorrow, we will uh, inform you and also put the numbers in our bulletin in the coming weeks.
for any of the absent winners. So please join us. It'll be a, a very good, uh, a very joyful experience of honoring our Blessed Mother, uh, who is with child in the image of Our Lady Guadalupe. So uh, God bless you all. Thank you for your time. And please uh, be safe during these coming days as it is getting colder outside and uh, we, we don't want any accidents. I know uh, Craig's talk is, is, is titled, Are You Ready to Meet Jesus? But we don't want anyone to meet him due to poor driving, okay? So please be very careful uh, on your way home this week. God bless you all and thank you so much for our choir. They did a lovely, lovely job today. Their voices are, you know, so beautiful. So we're very grateful that we have our choir. And also, as you can see, we have a legion of altar servers today. And we're very grateful for their service as well. And, and last but not least, you know, to our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, I'm sure he gets a round of applause too, right? So a round of applause to Jesus as we are gathered here in the joyful, joyful time of Advent, this joyful weekend. May God bless you. So let us now stand for our final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sing out, Earth and Skies can be found in your gather book number 198. Again, your gather book number 198.